Hi guys, I'm Matt from the Azatest team and today I will be showing you this set. This is set 8837, it is from the year 1992, so a little while back. It is a cool LEGO Technic set, which is a, well, it uses air, it's a pneumatic, it uses LEGO pneumatic pieces. So, for example, if I turn that to the side, that switch, and then press the pump, then it will move. There we go, I just did it uh, both ways. And the same can be done, let me just, oh, wrong way. If I just put it back up, same can be done with the shovel bit at the end. It can be moved out and back in and out. So yeah, let's get, let, let's take a look at how it works. Okay, so this is the bottom, the base of the vehicle. The way it steers is all very simple. At the top, a uh, gear comes in and it spins this gear, this, this gear in, in there, which spins a gear that is connected to another gear with an axle. Therefore that also spins, which then moves this uh, side to side which then moves these wheels in sync, so they're synchronized. So if I just spin that, you can see that spinning. So that is the base of it. And then the way the top spins is with this little turn table, I guess. Uh, and again, the same gear, except this time it gets pulled up by like this, it gets pulled up. You, and when you turn it, it turns the inside, which then eventually makes the top turn. So that's so that is the base, and let's keep going. This is the arm and pneumatic system without some of the flexible hoses. It has three of them in place, uh, connecting the pump to the switches both of them, one for each pneumatic cylinder. Now we built the arm um, a little stand, well isn't that little, uh, so it is easier to understand how it works and I am going to connect the switch to the cylinder now. Okay, so the switch is now connected to the cylinder. Now, how does this work? Now, when you press the pump, air goes through into these tubes. Now, when it finds an opening, see, now this switch is closed, therefore the air cannot go out, go out of it. Now, same happens here, the air goes through the tube, finds this way that it can go through, and then sees the, well, it doesn't see it, but there's an open valve here. So the air goes through that and it goes into the hose. Now we want to open this because we want to uh, let air go into the bottom one, which will then eventually push out the arm. Now when we do that, air pressure builds up and eventually it will press this out. Now that will push the arm, which moves that connector, which is connected to the end of the shovel, therefore, because that's on a pivot, it will then move in. Same will happen the other way, the air will come through, it will go into this uh, hose now, because that's the one that's open, and that will press this down, it will push it back in. So now, the opposite happens to what happened before. Now let's connect up the other cylinder. I have removed the two light grey hoses that connected um, the switch up to that just to avoid confusion and now I will put up these hoses, connect this switch to this cylinder. Okay, now this switch is connected to this cylinder. Same goes with the pump and the air moving. 
Now, if we open the one of the valves, let's see, we want it to go down, so we want to open this one. Therefore, we push it this way. We turn the switch this way, because that will open this. You can look on Google Images, uh, there is a diagram, or, well, on one of the websites, I don't know where, but there's a diagram of how these work. You can look it up, it, it's quite interesting. So now that we have opened that up, we can let the, it, it lets the air through. So if we push down the pump, it should, there we go, it should, it, it closes that cylinder, it, <coughs> it pulls it back in. Now, well, pull isn't really the correct term, but yeah. Now, if we put this the other way, that opens up this valve, which then uh, goes through here, and the air pressure will push it out, so so it will extend, as we can see here. Now that is connected to this arm. Both the cylinder and the, uh, this these beams are connected at a pivot, so when this extends, it pushes that and it allows movement. Therefore, look, making it look uh, making it go upwards. Now this part here isn't actually moving up, it's only this bit which uh, is moving up, as you can see there. This is only turning like that. So when that pushes that up, it moves this to the right, which then makes this move upwards. So there, it goes down, that, that goes back up. It takes more than one pump for that to work, at least for me. Okay. Let's put all of it together now. Okay, now both switches are connected to both the cylinders. Light grey hose for the smaller one up top and a black one for the bottom larger one. Now the air can go through both hoses now if we set it up to do so. So if we set this one up to extend, so we want this one to be open, so we open that, and we want this one to also extend, so we want this one to be open, so we open that. So now in theory when I press this, both of them should eventually extend. See it worked? Now we can set this the other way because it's fully closed, and it will do that. And then, yeah, some of the air that stayed in there came out and closed it. So yeah, that is how the pneumatic system in this set works, in this car, well, machine works. It's quite cool. I think I will take it off its stand now. So, this is the system without anything else. Okay. Let's put the vehicle together now. Okay, so this is all of it put together. As I was saying in the part about the bottom, this is the bit that you twist to steer and to move the top of the body. You just lift up gently. You don't want to pull the gear off it. It's quite easy to do so. And then just turn it either way, like that, or the other way for the other way, well, it's kind of obvious. The steering is inverted, but that doesn't really matter. You can get used to it. It's quite good. And the pneumatic bits, they're just excellent. They're, they're really great. And so, and this whole set is also really great. So, yeah, all right. So, I'm afraid that's it for this video. And see you in the next one. Goodbye.